Hi YouTubers, it's George, I'm in the garage messing about with aerials here's the uh, matching coil at the top which is where the coax goes and it's made up of um, brake pipe and then the bottom for tuning is two capacitors, one's for fine tuning and one's for coarse tuning uh, it's got a very high Q and I have used it for transmitting on with about 3 watts on the HF band but I'm going to sort of modify it and have it for just listening or monitoring the HF bands <coughs> excuse me the only trouble is I did have an active amplifier that I could connect to it but I didn't think I'd use it again and I actually gave it to one of my neighbours as into radio uh, so I've got one all order and the kit's about £7 for an active aerial amplifier and uh, so I've got it open and it's I can extend it up on this um, lighting tripod the only problem is at the moment it's blowing a hoolie out there and because there's hardly any weight to it it's more likely going to blow over in the garden and I need to sort out the coax lead that's long enough for it because I don't know what I've done with it and uh, I quite like making stuff and uh, this was another one of my um, projects so it's leftover bits and pieces from, from curtain rods and clamps and things I've had and um, if I've got some better capacitors high voltage I could probably run a bit more power through it uh, it SWRs really well the only problem with it is um, it's got such a high Q and it hasn't got a very good bandwidth you've really got to any time you change your frequency you have to retune it with these capacitors and I'll go and get a radio in a minute and I'll attach to it so I can hopefully demonstrate what I'm referring to garage is a bit of a mess at the moment and uh, I talked about my magnetic loop aerial I could see it it's not coming up very it's inside the garage there's two capacitors uh, in parallel and this is a smaller value and this is like the fine tuning and that's the main and um, it doesn't need much turning of the capacitor I don't know if you could hear that radio and I'm just going to turn this You can see it's turn it just a fraction and then the right that's me turning it off tune See when it's off tune the stations all go and then when I turn the knob And this is indoors And this is my magnetic loop inside the garage. And I'm not cheating. Let's turn the radio off. The cable goes down here. There it is. It goes up into the matching loop and back down again. And there's my two capacitors. And the capacitors are not even in a proper case it's just this plastic trunking left over from other projects I think this white pole was a curtain pole this metal pipe is carburetor pipe it's not joined here at all it's insulated this clip here um, is changes it from the um, 20 meter band to the 40 meter band and all it does is 
put an extra capacitor in circuit which I think is 100 picofarad I know you can see there's a little blue capacitor there and all it does is add another capacitor in parallel with the tuning capacitors and um, yeah I'll switch it back on again Here's the stations. This is FT8 here, I think. Let's go up the bands. Oh, something's turning up. Let's see what we've got here. I should really change the resolution down so it's easy to tune. Turn up the signal has gone. Yeah, so it, it works extremely well. And I say it's inside the garage, and this is a, a lighting tripod. And I can extend it up to almost my height, so this comes up nearly to five foot. Um, all the sections are down. I can't put it up any, any further in the garage. But um, thanks for watching this little video of mine, and please subscribe and like.